Okay, everybody. Good evening. Fan Man Steve 1989 here once again. It is Saturday, August the 20th. I've had a really rough past couple of weeks here. Just, uh, I've really have had so much going on. I've been going through a lot. And I just am getting around to, uh, to starting starting material on my channel again so please uh, I'm sorry for the absence and I've seen that and I've seen that uh, some of my subscribers haven't given up on me and left and you all remember the video that I did a couple of weeks about a week or two back of uh, the organization and clean of my uh, of my shop here so Today we're, I am going to be doing a video of, of an air fryer, air blower here, and, uh, and this is, I did show this off in the last video that I had made, and I did mention that I would be doing a video of this, this would be the next project on my list. But uh, this, is a, this is a little blower fan here. Technically, it came out of an old uh, French fry heater, and I got this about a year ago uh, when I was visiting my brother and my sister-in-law in South Carolina, and this came out of an old uh, this came out of an old Chick-fil-A restaurant. My brother was was working in a, working in the Chick-fil-A restaurant, and he got it. He was going to throw it away. Said that the performance on it really wasn't any good. Uh, it really didn't really didn't put out any heat. And he was going to throw it away. And so I asked him if uh, if I could take it home with me. And he said yeah. So I brought it back here. And I have uh, I've done some work with it. I took it out of its out of its old shell, out of its old housing, and uh, I do not have the housing with me that's long gone. But uh, thing is, uh, thing is kind of heavy. It's made out of solid steel. I think like I don't think this is aluminum. I think this is uh, this is solid steel. Has the little squirrel like cage to it. Let's have a look at the side here. Has a uh, has a C framed C framed motor. These are the leads that come out of it. Put it up to it to where you can read the information tag if the foam will focus camera will focus. Okay, so the, the camera is not going to focus, so I'll just read it out to you instead. Draws 115 volts and 60 hertz and 0 0.4, 0 0.48 amp type L. And the number is 6A142-236B, Bay Motor Productions Incorporated. So I guess that's the name of the, the company that manufactured and built this, that built these. Tra Traverse City, Michigan, thermally protected. And if it draws 150 volts, I guess there's got to be something, uh, something great about this. And uh, when I brought when I brought the heater home and when I tested it for the first time, I come to understand right then and there that these weren't, of course, these weren't designed, you know, to have the same function, you know, as as a typical household heater. And and from what an, from what another user has told me that the 
fan has a certain way of working with the elements and that also has something to do with the leads if I if I could understand that correctly so but we're about to find out here in a minute how the how the fan alone works it's very very well built it is a little heavy it's not a particularly light and with that motor weighing down on it it's a pretty uh, pretty hefty motor and it does have the winding going around the motor so it's a shaded pull motor leads to it really aren't that thick but it's got some power to it and there's the bearing bearing to it there I just think this thing just needs good oiling and servicing so I guess uh, my plans for, my plan for this is is basically just using it as an old shop fan this is the this is the core that I've got for it that I'm going to hook up to it so we're just gonna we're gonna hook this uh, cord on to the fan here and we're gonna test it and see how it works Plug is polarized, so I really don't I really don't see what any harm this this could do. Get that good and thread it on. some stupid freak show here. Okay, there we go. I'm feeling any release release there, so I guess I got that on right. Don't worry about that falling off. face it towards the camera because of uh, the blade pitch it looks like it's going to blow out this way and not towards this way okay, here we go could uh, stand to, uh, to take a good cleaning and service. Well, not so much as cleaning, but more or less of a service. 
So, so I guess uh, pretty much all I have to do with this thing is, uh, is uh, I'm just gonna take the uh, take the bearing off here. I'm not exactly sure how the other bearing will come off. Hopefully, it won't have to come down. So maybe it won't have to come down to that. And these are just holding on with these two bolts here. So I'll just find me. Maybe I can just do this with. Let's see. I can find the right size. I can't find if I can't find the right one, I'll just use my little adjustable wrench here. What the heck? I think that'll work out just fine. Okay. So let's see if we can uh Get this off. I would have a socket for this, but unfortunately, I had no, I had nothing to organize my sockets with, you know, to put them in sections to where I would get the right one that I need. And I really don't have the time to, to get the container out and to, to dig through all of that right now, so I guess we'll just do it like this. Or you can see everything. Uh. Okay, there you go. There we go. Just so appears that this is a ball bearing too by the way and there's the uh, the thrush washer and this definitely looks like it could stand a good uh, a good queen normally you would have to take these out from the looks of it and I I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna be able to do that videos that I had seen that's uh, that's a lot that's that's a lot of hard work okay so I guess the best best thing for me to do is it doesn't look like it needs to be cleaned See if I can do this. Okay, everybody. Well, it just so turns out that I don't have the right kind of tools.
to remove this with and I do believe that this little this little piece right here that goes around the bearing somehow is supposed to come out but I can't find anything that is thin enough to me to get in between there between that space and pry that off and I don't know if you can see it but I kinda wore in a dent there trying to uh, trying to work around it with a screwdriver and I really don't want to take my chances by uh, by by ruining that so I guess what we're gonna do instead is we're just gonna we're just gonna throw some oil into it just clean it up best we can and just give it a good oiling and hopefully this should have the same function I don't see why not just apply some oil okay the camera is all out of all out of whack here okay anyway anyway I'm just going to apply some oil here into the bearing hopefully that should that should soak in I think that'll do and okay Got the uh, little bearing here. I guess I'll just uh, okay. Put that back on. Soak that really good. Not a whole lot. Hopefully that should do. See if I can. Maybe that's as far as it'll go. Okay. Make sure that those bolts are tightened evenly. If not, it's gonna. It's not gonna be well centered and it's going to cause problems
It would have been easy, so much easier for me to have done this with a with a socket and a wrench, but but obviously I just I really don't have the time to uh, or even the patience to uh, to do all of that right now. Okay, hopefully that should work. See if I can very carefully apply some oil here through the other end of this bearing. Hopefully you can see it. Okay. Okay. Let's apply some down in here. Work its way in. Got oil everywhere. Okay. Put this face this back towards the camera. Let's see how this difference this makes. Okay. hear a whole lot of bear noise so hopefully I got that I got that bear and holder back on there right Okay, that spin down is okay. I guess it really isn't all that bad. I guess I just need to, uh, to get some use out of it in order for it to, uh, to function properly, like it should. Thing had been sitting. Thing had been sitting since well, ever since I got it. Uh, last year or so. Well there you have it everybody. I guess this will be a little my little shop pan here. I can just use that here in my little workspace whenever I'm working. This will uh this is gonna work very well. You know, when I'm in here working on my stuff so well I hope that you've enjoyed the quick little little service and demonstration of my little blower fan here. Hope that you've enjoyed the video, more content to come, and bye-bye.